Guys, I did something I'm not proud of. I sold some silver. One stacker on a journey to find silver. International stacker. That's right. <clears throat> Maybe this is a confessional. This is an intervention. And by the way, none of these are silver. I haven't touched silver or gold coin in like 60 days. Um, <clears throat> but I need to have a talk with all of you. Um, I've sold silver and gold in the past for flips, but never straight up sold. And unfortunately, recently I had to sell. I'm gonna tell you why, I'm gonna tell you how, I'm gonna tell you what happened. Um, and I think you're gonna you're gonna find this interesting what what went down. So, if you watched my video I put out yesterday, make sure if you didn't to go check it out. <clears throat> but I'm talking about um, why I stopped stacking recently, and it's playing the system. But a big portion of that was because of the beer flu, the thing I don't dare say its name. COVID-19. <clears throat> Anyways, um. It kind of uh, messed up my plans a little bit. So I was overseas working a project. I was back here on a break and I was due to go back. And then after I went back, I was gonna get paid my uh, milestone money because it's a contract. So part of being a contractor guys is you live from contract to contract. Sometimes you get paid before, during, after. And unfortunately this contract was after. So I was back here when it went down. Obviously, Saudi Arabia and a lot of Africa uh, closed down, which is where <clears throat> two gigs I had going were happening. So I couldn't get back there, meaning I didn't get my big payday. Um, around the same time, I was contacted to do something here locally in the U.S., which is great, but I needed money. Um, you know, I had all my travel, hotel, and all that taken care of for the next few months being overseas. But because of this... Uh, pandemic, those plans unfortunately changed. Um, so I was here in the US, I needed some cash. Uh, I knew I was going somewhere new. <clears throat> I knew it was going to be at least three to four weeks before I got cash there. So I sold silver. I'll take a quick poll. What silver do you think I sold? You have five seconds to guess. Four, three, two, one. I sold. <clears throat> and guys, this is shameful to say. But I sold a monster box. I sold 500 American Silver Eagles and it broke my heart to do so. But here's the good news. The good news is I averaged around, when I bought them originally, I paid between 340 to 380 bucks. And when I sold them for the most part, I sold them all for 400, a little bit more, 410, 415 a tube. So I actually made money on that. So. I guess we can classify that as a flip, right? A flip, I didn't just sell it, it's a flip. <clears throat> so I made, um, you know, anywhere from 10 to 30 bucks a tube on that, which is nice. Um, and it gave me the liquidity I needed to get where I'm at now and have cash flow again. Unfortunately, the premium has gone up significantly. So if you watched my video yesterday, <clears throat> I was talking about how I'm gonna play the market. So my plan is to buy that monster box once once uh, um, I'm hoping prices loosen up here a little bit, and I'm talking premium prices as opposed to spot. But let me tell you what happened when I tried to sell these coins. And uh, do you guys like my interrogation light I have over this? It's like to interrogate my nails sell for this. So <clears throat> originally I called a bunch of, and you know, people always say, how do you, you can never sell silver or it's hard, impossible to sell it. So. When I sold my silver is right before this big run up in premiums. So it's way easier to sell silver now than it was when I did it. So how did I do it? First I called all my local LCSs. One wanted to pay spot, complete rip off, never do that for ASCs. One wanted to pay a dollar over spot. One wanted to pay a dollar fifty over spot is I think the best I found. Uh, I believe the online bullion dealers were paying 175 or two dollars above spot, which was better but I didn't have time to ship it in and wait for the check. I needed money immediately because um, I had gotten called to respond to where I'm at now. And by the way, I've been working on this virus guys for last 57 days straight now. It's been intense in command center. Anyways, 
Um, so I didn't have time for that. So I started selling privately through things like Facebook and different applications. And for me, it was quick, easy to find a buyers. They were happy because they didn't have to pay the tax buying it online. They didn't have to pay um, shipping, all these different things. I could just simply ship it to them. I included shipping in the price, uh, all these different things. So <clears throat> it made it really easy and really liquid to sell. Now, I also used it to help feed into a civil war, or I guess we'll call it a competition, that was going on on uh, YouTube between Yankee Stacking and Silver Dragons, aka Silver Baggins, and they were racing to a monster box. So I actually contacted both of them like, hey, you need them? And I actually gave them a good deal. I think I sold it to them for like 380 at the time, which was, it was a really good deal at the time. Um, and my plan is I wanted them both to buy enough to hit their monster boxes at the same time, but it didn't work that way. So Baggins actually beat Yankee and, uh, <laughs> I admit it. I influenced or I meddled in, I meddled in it. I meddled in, <laughs> in that internal warfare, but you know what the unique thing about American silver Eagles is guys, they are silver coins. And let me tell you how to get a free silver coin. <clears throat> we all knew the market had to correct at some point, right? How will the markets respond from this point forward? One thing is for sure, you just can't flip a switch and return things to normal. And that's actually true, guys, you can't. That's why many Americans are making the decision to diversify into gold right now. Since 1997, Lear Capital has been America's top destination for gold, IRAs, and precious metal sales. Mitch in this channel and you can get a free silver coin. This is clad, but you can get a free silver coin with your first purchase. Call 800-819-2495 now, or check out the link in the description. So thank you for uh, Lear Capital for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much, guys and gals. And thank you to all of you for watching it and supporting it. And remember, you all told me to give these plugs. You told me, but I'm not done with the video. I have a plan. I have a plan to get my 500 little children back because my silver coins are like my children, okay? Children will leave your home, but they'll always come back in the future. So I've got 500, and on my spreadsheet, guys, I haven't even subtracted the 500 silver eagles yet because I'm saying no, I didn't lose them, I'm getting them back. So here's my plan. Um, <clears throat> you should really go watch that video yesterday if you didn't, it's, it's, it's I, I think you'll enjoy it. But I show a chart in there what happened back in 2008 with a bigger drop that happened with silver and gold. I'm expecting a similar drop here in the near future. For sure silver, gold I'm still kind of like on the fence post of, or the fence on that, but I'm, I'm sure um, expecting it. Now people are gonna say, but when that happens, premiums are gonna be crazy. You're not gonna be able to get it for any much cheaper. You can guys, and here's how. Pawn shops, because when this thing goes down and people need money, they're gonna be blowing out their collections for cheap because they need the money now. Pawn shops, apps like Let Go, apps like, um, websites like Craigslist. What's the other app I was just looking at, OfferUp? There's gonna be all kinds of opportunities <clears throat> to jump on and buy uh, coins for cheap. Now, if you're using applications or the internet, be careful if you're meeting up in person because it can be risky, meet up in public in a place with a lot of different cameras, preferably near a police station, you should be safe. Um, but yeah, that's how you do it. So I am hoping in the near future, um, once I get my fiat currency cash up to the right amount, that I can pick up a monster box of eagles and just get the 500 back. Now monster box, let's see what that would be right now. I don't even know what eagles are going for right now. Above 20. Let's just say, so just 20 times 500, that's $10,000, guys. So I'm going to have to have $10,000 to buy a monster box of silver to replace my children. What do you all think? Do you think I was dumb for selling? Do you think, hey, that's the point of gold and silver is not only to stack and preserve your wealth, but use an emergency? That's how I look at it. Um... 
Do you think I should have done it another way? Should I have sold a gold instead? What's your opinion? And also, what's your opinion? Do you think we're going to see a dip in the market? Do you think I'm going to be able to get back my 500 children for a nice, sweet, cheap price? Um, I got to get them for sub-20. That's my plan. I want to make money on this, on this forced flip. So let me know what you guys think in the description. Not the description. The comments below. Uh, thank you for watching, everybody. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like these videos and these discussions. And I'm trying to make you more videos lately because I really fell off the last 60 days working this thing. But um, it's going to be difficult. Um, I'm in there every day. This weekend was a little bit easier because we had some shorter hours this weekend. But still, I'm going to try my best. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And I've noticed lately that I'm getting like anywhere between eight to 15 dislikes per video. So if you're one of the, dis the dislikers and you wanna eventually like a video, let me know in the description or the comments below what I can do better, or what you don't like. But you know, I'm not letting it affect me guys. I know you can't make everybody happy, but I wanna make everybody happy. So let me know. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and we'll say catch you on the next one. Woo!